My name is Sean Condon and we're in the towns and the Fanning Sound in the parish of Fedamore in County Limerick. It's a dairy farm, an organic dairy farm. Uh, it's be farming typical, I suppose, typical Limerick land, really. I'm stocked, I would say, in the region of less than 1.2 livestock units per hectare. That would be low for the organic production, it would be the lower end. Um, so I've kind of moved to a lower stocking rate and I'm producing organic milk and uh, some of that is, is being bottled and sold directly to the consumer and the remainder goes to the little milk company um, to make cheese for organic cheese for export. Being organic you get a lot of clover naturally in the sward, a lot of white clover you can see it there so that thrives you also get a lot of bees and all that wildflowers around the place, on the hedges and around the pasture. So I suppose that's that's all a big help, you know. Uh, we go around, we see the bees, but uh, there's lots of insects and all that there as well, you know. So lots of young pheasants and all that would, um, you know, would be able to survive. You get a lot of berries and the hedges that aren't being cut back too severely, and. They're going to feed the, the birds for the winter. So it's all, I suppose, um, part, of the, part of a system, you know, and you try to farm within that, within that system, really. So just here and just up around there, that's, uh, that's where the wild bird cover was put in about two weeks ago, just before the end of May. That's, I suppose, a help to feed the wild birds for the winter. So there are a few different species in, in, in the, the, the mix. That stuff there, all that one, that's all the mustard. Yeah, that's mustard coming up. So a lot of mustard there. And uh, of course, then you have the grain as well. That's barley there, that's barley. So they're, they're, they're both up now and they're starting to come. And the birds really thrive in it for the winter. This is just, I suppose, a, a cross section of the trees we put in. Uh, you can see there's a number of, a of ash trees around there and they're not doing very well. I suppose that's the ash dieback disease getting a grip of them, unfortunately. There's some oak there, a few Scots pine. There's birch, there are alder. They went in there 15, 16 years ago. You can see they have really done really well. It's a nice area from a, a nature point of view. So these are the, the reed beds, there's one there, there's one there and then you're the third kind of you're into the natural swampy area. Um, it doesn't get much work to do really, I suppose a bit of dirty water comes off the passage or whatever goes in there, it cleans it. So it's more of a habitat than anything else now. It's a nice habitat, like it just fits in with everything else around the place. I milked the cows once a day, that was a decision I made 20 years ago for lifestyle reasons, really it, with a young family at the time. It made sense and uh, I've stuck with it ever since and it's been successful for me. It's a benefit to the farmer from the point of view of lifestyle, it's a benefit to the cows, they tend to they have an easier life, you get more lactations per cow, uh, you got you know very relaxed cows because they're not, not working as hard. It's raw milk, uh, it's bottled straight from the tank. To be allowed to do that, the milk has to be tested regularly for make sure that it's of the quality required and we get a very good price for it direct to the consumer. They're a crossbred herd which generally are, are a healthy a healthy type of animal. Producing about 3,000 litres on practically no inputs. Very low but I'm fine with that. I'm more interested in getting a decent price for litre per litre for what I produce than producing loads of litres at a small price. So it's probably maybe the opposite to what the general trend would be or what people are being encouraged to do. So they're eating basically ryegrass, white clover is the base of it. There's um, a lot of other species coming into it and some of the old meadow grasses as you can see here have come in as well. It's been receded a good number of years. I haven't done any receding in the farm now for a good while. So some of the old species are coming in again. But that's fine, at my stocking rate I don't need any more than that and I'm happier with the, the diversity in the older sward. There is a future, a lot of young people are turning their backs on it, but there is certainly a future 
Um, it depends, you know, what road we go down. There's a lot of intensive farming, but maybe we need to swing more to organic, producing food for export for the higher end of the market at a better price. Personally, I think that's the way we should go. In doing that, we can we can do our bit for the climate and for biodiversity and still get a very good price for our product.